Hello! Today we're going to take a short step back in time to 1922 and the creation of the American Circus Corporation Winter Quarters. We're going to focus on the elephant barn in this study. This barn was started in 1922 and completed in 1923. The barn is 150 feet long. It was 72 feet wide when both wings were attached and it stands 40 feet tall. Anyone that has come out to the International Circus Hall of Fame will recognize this barn is still standing today. This was a housing facility for many animals. The menagerie animals that were housed in the cages were housed on the west side of the barn in that wing. A line of cages ran from one end to the other. An entry drawer was on the north end of that barn in a wing to allow the animals to be placed back into their travel cages. Very few pictures have ever been taken inside the barns, so the fact that we can find a piece of this in an image is a remarkable sight. It gives you a small idea of what the west wing looked like, stretching from one end of the barn to the other. On the east side of the northern corner of the barn was the hippo den. He had the entire corner of the barn to play in. The rest of the barn was used to house the elephants. One still clip found in the movie The Lost Jungle starring Clyde Beatty shows a couple of the elephants inside that barn. Again, photographs inside the barns were very hard to find. There were a lot of elephants in the American Circus Corporation. Back in the heyday, the winter quarters had as many as 35 to 40 elephants every single winter. Many of the elephants were taken down the street to the Ballard farm and housed there. The winter quarters was also a working farm where they grew their own hay, straw and grains for the animals, and ground meal for the kitchen. It took a lot of hay to feed all these animals. The upper portion of the barn was actually a hayloft. Back in the 1930s, a lean-to was built on the side of the building and this small lean-to was a cage for birds and one year it was for monkeys. Once the circuses all left Peru and the Ringling sold this to the Emil Schramm family, this building was used to house machinery. Sometime between 1972 and 1977, the entire west wing was torn down. It is assumed that the cages inside had been removed years ago. Between 1980 and 1981, the east wing was removed from the barn, leaving the entire east side open as it is today at the International Circus Hall of Fame.